It's video time, boys and girls. Air beater that I brought in here with the bad radiator cap. The radiator cap had been leaking for a long time, and I was a little bit low on coolant. As it turns out, the head on that thing is actually really prone to cracking. I took a little time to run some numbers, and here what the numbers say. You guys ready? Compression on number one was 135 psi, as well as compression on number two, also 135 psi. Compression on number three was a whole 130 psi. With inspect. Compression on number four, 60 psi. So that's no good. Uh, so big shout out to my little compression on number four. Thanks for making my life more complicated. But speaking of shout outs, I have to give a shout out to a few people. Number one, I have to give a shout out to uh, CloudMind. I managed to uh, just be cruising the internet and run into a couple people here or there that just happened to watch my channel. Also big shout out to Trevor and Danny, Jason, all those guys, I appreciate you watching. Huge shout out to Johnny over at um, Foreign Engines over in Lidwood. This is the guy that actually hooked me up with this motor. Late 90s, maybe even mid 90s, I started buying engines from these guys. Like I think I bought the first motor I bought from these guys was like a ZC for a friend's Honda or something. Um, and they've always given me really good pricing. They've always taken care of me. Um, and the most important thing about this company is that if you have a problem, they're usually really good about taking care of you. I've only had one problem with these guys ever and it was taken care of before I really had a chance to complain about it. So a huge shout out to uh, Johnny over at Foreign Engines. If you guys need anything in the Pacific Northwest for an engine or a swap, definitely get hold of those guys. I'll put their link uh, down at the bottom of the video. Aside from shout outs, I got something else kind of cool, which is uh, these beautiful motor mounts. Uh, Freed Engineering is what these ones are. I'm not gonna lie, Freed Engineering, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't, didn't get no stickers, okay? I didn't get no stickers, and I didn't get no stickers. So, I got some uh, Cusco mounts. These help the engine sit a little bit lower. From what I understand, um, these aren't a necessity, but they will make your life a lot easier just because they give you a little, uh, an inch or so of headspace up to the um, top of the hood area. And to simplify things on testing, I got something else. That is a Z32 cross member. I went to go install these mounts and I had a little bit of trouble because I couldn't get them to fit. Come to find out after contacting Freed Engineering, I was putting it in the wrong hole. Again, I took the luxury of getting another Z32 cross member and got everything actually kind of mounted over here. And looking at it, you can see it's going to be tight. It's going to be real tight. Uh, so there's definitely going to be a lot of cutting involved here in the next couple days. But once that's done, we'll get in a better idea of where everything's going to actually sit in there. I appreciate you watching me and uh, hopefully we'll have some updates here shortly. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. See? Hey, stay tuned. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching.